Greetings, dear viewer. If you are anything like me, then this song should remind you of Friday nights in the mid-90s at the public skating rink holding hands with Shelly Deemer. So today we're going to get weird with it, like we haven't already, and do a campfire version. So you can bring some Ace of Bass, the mid-90s, the skating rink, and Shelly Deemer to your next shindig. But before anybody leads a lonely life, I hope you don't mind if I take this opportunity to thank a few people for signing up for the Patreon supporter of the Cause Club, Kevin O'Connell, Eric S., and Tom Layden. Gentlemen, thank you very, very much for your support. And if you would like to find out what that's all about, the link, of course, is in the description. Capo for your bad selves. For the intro, we're going to need two A minors, one G, and one D minor, and of course, a kazoo. And you gotta do the thing. We'll call that the thing. It's two open E strings. One E3, and two open A strings. That's your intro. Now we're into the Lonely Life section, and this progression is the same as the chorus as well, and it's the same progression we've already talked about. A minor, A minor, G, D minor, and normally I tell you to strum however you want, strum what you feel, but here I really want to hearken that reggae beat, that 2-4 beat they got going on, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit the bass note, the open A string of our A minor chord, followed by the chord, and I'm going to make it short. Then I'm going to give it a two muted strums. You can use your pinky fingers handy on the A minor chord, or you can just kind of muffle over here. Followed by one more short chord. Bass, chord, chick a chord. Bass, chord, chick a chord. fills it out as one guitar player without a whole band, especially no synth. <laughs> and now I want to take just a moment to demonstrate a little slowly how the thing feeds into the strumming pattern, because of course the thing, can't say thing without doing that, ends with two open A strings and the strumming pattern starts with an open A string. So you're going to do three open A strings in a row, and you want to be able to feel which open A string is the end of the thing and which one is the beginning of the strumming pattern. So here it is, nice and slow. The strumming pattern began when I went like that. A little faster. A little faster. At this point, we encounter the first verse, which is a total key change, a C change of a key change, one might say. Now pay attention, 007. I'll call out each measure. A. A. G. D. A. chorus, which you already know, A minor, A minor, G, D minor. Now, I don't know why Ace of Bass has it out for us, but they made the second verse entirely different from the first verse, so I hope you're writing this down. The second verse is A minor, A minor, G, D minor, just like the chorus in the intro. Second line, A minor, A minor, E minor, E major. Third line, A minor, A minor, D minor, D minor, A minor, E minor, D minor. And 
here's what I came up with for the cool breakdown after the second chorus. I'm gonna switch to power chords now, and A power chord is a power chord because it doesn't include the B string. It's neither A minor, nor is it A major. I'm just gonna mute the B string with my pointer finger. There's no major or minor third in this chord. It's a power chord. So, strum it twice, one more time and then switching to an E power chord, just wiggle your finger up one string towards the ceiling, and then I'm gonna grab the E string third fret, and then the fourth fret, and then repeat the whole thing. For your breakdown. And that's that, so go do that. Unless you don't want to, then don't. Unless, unless you're very cajolable, then you probably should. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that was fun and helpful, and I'll see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.